Hi, this is Gareth from O-Films. Welcome to our guide to the Gringo Digital Showcom system. This is the first in our new series on the Gringo Digital Showcoms system. We'll be looking at some of the different endpoints and comms packs that you can get and that are available from Gringo. We'll be looking at how to set up your Gringo system from scratch and how to use the different comms packs. The Gringo Digital System is a fantastic intercom providing amazing audio quality, especially compared to traditional party line at two wire and four wire comm systems. It's based on a distributed ethernet network model, which means there's no central matrix and the configuration for the whole system is stored in every single device. It's possible to have anywhere from two to 3000 users or groups configured on a system and up to 250 comms units joined to that system with the same configuration. Because of the way the configuration is stored and <clears throat> with the ability to clone the configuration from any device, this makes the system extremely scalable and especially resilient. With the complete configuration and a comms engine stored on each individual device, this removes any single points of failure from the comms system. Unlike a traditional matrix setup where if your central matrix fails, your entire comms system goes down, something which would be catastrophic in the middle of a live event. The Gringo system has no single point of failure. So you could lose a one or two devices from your system and the rest of your team would be able to continue operating without any problems. There are loads of other advantages to Gringo because it is digital and built on fast ethernet. It's really easy to set up and you can get going with just two users really easily in the control center, which is available for both Mac and PC. We'll be doing a separate video on how to use the control center and the other applications from Gringo, which will help you to manage your Gringo units. Another advantage is that it's really easy to set up the de devices physically and cable them in. Obviously, if you're using the wireless packs, then there are no cables to connect to these. You just need one cable to the antenna to connect it to your system. But if you're using a wired pack, then you have far fewer cables to run than if you're using a digital matrix based system. All of the Gringo units are PoE powered. Some have extra power options as well, like USB and 12 volt. But as you can see, this BPX, which we've got here, this is for the headset port. And this is an Ethercom cable, which is providing connectivity back to the other devices for audio transmission, but also power over PoE. So there's only one cable to run to that, which makes it much easier when you're rigging and setting up. The Gringo system is also really flexible in terms of the types and variety of units that are available. The belt packs are nice and small and they're very rugged. They're really easy to clip to your belt and uh, they're just a fantastic bit of kit. There are a few different types of belt pack. You've got the wired belt pack. You've also got the wireless belt pack, which we just looked at a second ago. And this is one of the, the old, older style uh, two channel belt packs, which still has the full 32 channels available to you, but just has two buttons. So this is a great bit of kit if uh, your production manager or your director is used to using a analog system, which doesn't have lots of buttons. Um, it's, that's a very simple piece of kit to use. We also have the eight channel desk, which you can see here, which has eight buttons instead of the four on the belt packs. And we have over here the Rack Mansball MCX, which have 15 buttons and two pages. So you can uh, set the buttons to multiple channels, groups or users and, and have access to, to those. All of the devices support 32 channels which can be configured and assigned to any user and any group from the scope. So sometimes people talk about the eight channel desk or the four channel belt pack. That refers to the number of buttons that are on the front. All of the devices support the full 32 channels, plus the three built-in channels, which are the emergency channel, the announcement channel, and the program audio channel. 
as well as the user interfaces like the desk and belt pack units. There are also system interfaces like this two and four wire interface here. These allow you to add other systems to your Gringo comms unit. So you can add a party line system onto a Gringo setup or add Gringo onto your party line system setup. And you can configure that party line system as a user or a group on Gringo. So people see it as a user, they can press a button, talk to the party line system as a whole. There's also a Dante interface and a radio interface. So you can include your radio users as a group. For more information on specific individual units and on how to configure the Gringo system from scratch, check out our other videos, links in the description. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If there's anything you'd like us particularly to cover, or if you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. Do like and share this video, and I'll see you next time.